this do? How's it going, guys? Put my 14. And that was a Dr. Thunder opening, in case you're wondering. Hashtag not sponsored. How you guys doing today? Feeling pretty good. So, in the last few episodes, we've done quite a few epi uh, duels against uh, Maximilian Pegasus. And, honestly, I think that'll be enough to take us to Halloween. That kind of was the goal of this uh, series here, the, uh, you know, kind of Oktoberfest. So, with that being said, like I said, I think it'll take us to Halloween, but, uh, um, we're, this is going to be the recording session for the finale. Well, the attempt for it, anyway. Long story short, we're going to finish up all the duels in the campaign, and basically kind of finish up this, uh, you know, kind of side series of, uh, Spooktacular, so, yeah, uh, basically the goal at this point will be, be to get, uh, all the white rose cards from each duelist, and, uh, yeah, let the credits roll, so, now I don't know how many videos it's gonna take me, because, well, some of the videos toward the end of the game can go long, 60 duels, huh? Uh, I might have done a few off screen. Do I have a reincarnation available? Ooh, I have a sword stalker. Oh, heck, I might just throw that in the deck, bro. Uh, let's see if we have a reincarnation. Because I, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah uh, whenever you get to increments of five, I would do the same. Just kind of. Okay, I must have uh, done one off screen. Uh, sword stalker, though. That is good. Uh, do I just want to straight up trade pumpkin for sword stalker? I think I do, because this deck fuses quite easily, so, uh, yeah, Sword Shocker will be welcome. Uh, with that, let's get on out of here. Alright. Yep. Let's do it. Now, who all do I have yet to defeat? I'm not sure. Uh, let me just do uh, some quick checking around, just for my own. Okay. Keith, I have beaten. Uh, Dr. Srula. Uh, Rex. Yep. Weevil, uh, Kos Pegasus. Alright, looks like we're on to Ishizu. Now, she has a low deck cost. Will I need to adjust my deck? Oh no, okay. Oh, and she's on the Isle of Man, and she is not a man, alas. Ishtar, let's talk to her. Amazing! I never thought you would reach the point where you could challenge me. My Millennium Necklace has been predicted this all. Because shut up. Too bad it all has to end here. Oh, that's it? You're not gonna say anything about how, like... Oh, I foresaw you coming, Rose Duelist. Alright, whatever. Let's get into the duel. And I'm gonna turn the volume up slightly. Alrighty. I guess I should explain. Yeah, check, take a look at her uh, field real quick here. So, quite a lot of crush. I mean, now, if you kind of saw the preview for her deck, you would have saw that, like, you know, the icon or whatever. You would think that it would be mostly be a water field or a sea terrain field, but no. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's just mainly gonna go for the crush guard strategy. We gotta watch some of her fusions, too. Yes, she can fuse for Aqua Dragon and other similar powerful cards, so watch out. Now, that is a Stone D right there. Uh, yeah, a rock plus a dragon equals a Stone Dragon. Appropriate. Uh, oh, well, you know, I might just put this on first turn. Fusion, ha! Pumpkin, the king of Gosu! Alright, now I'll summon in defense. And I ain't scared, I'll move forward. What you got, a cheesy? Ah, probably gonna put a monster of her own ahead. Well, that's fine. What? You didn't attack me? Very well. Uh, I got Barrel Lily, and uh, it's funny. <laughs> I actually just thought of my uh, Pokemon Emerald Randomizer, which you should watch on this channel. If you, uh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> one of my Pokemon is actually, uh, I actually started with a, uh, Quilava. 
and it is actually a grass type Quilapa. So appropriately, I actually named it Barrel Lily, because you know, barrel is in kind of fire and lily as in grass. <laughs> wow. And literally, Flower Cannon! Oh man, and that is a Digimon Digital Monsters reference. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're a little late celebrating there, like, wah, wah. Nice. Alrighty. We'll move forward, Invisible Wire, and our deck later, and yeah, I, I end the turn, yeah. I ain't scared. What are you gonna do, attack my Invisible Wire? Yeah, I find like Shizu to be pretty easy. I mean, like, yeah, now some of our monsters do have like 1400, like this Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. That's mainly to go through the crush terrain and, you know, stuff like that, but yeah, I find that having crush actually helps, uh, you know, us more than it helps her. Like, for example, here, I know it's a little risky to put Barrel Lily here, but if I move my deck leader here, I can actually summon this man-eating plant, you know, to attack her witch. And yeah, she plays kind of, I don't know, I don't know, sometimes she plays really good. And sometimes she plays really dumb, so it just, it can go any which way but loose, guys, so. Alright, and she did not attack us. Interesting. Power increase, yummy. And, like, I know this is a stone dragon, and she's in danger, like, why isn't she moving it this way, you know, toward us, right? I mean, is that just me, guys, or, I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense, the more you think about it. I'll move my guys forward, and I'll set infinite dismissal right there to protect both of them. I end my turn. This is going pretty well, honestly. So, Gana yeah, Shizu, not gonna give me much to talk about. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Alright, so. Uh, armored Zombie. Hmm. Well, let's just move everything forward again. And I'll set an additional trap card right here. Invisible wire. Okay, I'll move out here. Now, if she moves back out here, maybe that's a monster and well, invisible wire will get it. Yeah, if she moves. Oh! Oh, it's a trap card. Shadow of Eyes. Well, there's that. I guess I'll show it. Yeah. Permanent trap that triggers when an enemy card completes its move in defense position. Automatically changes the card to offense position. Yeah, so. Be careful of that. Once you see that, no defense mode mode. That could be bad, depending on your situation. Yeah, you see what I mean? She ran over her own card, so yeah. Uh, that's not gonna work, son. Infinite dismissal. <laughs> Alright. And what card did she try to attack us with here? Yeah, 3,000 year old white turtle. Yeah, she does have several five-star uh, aquas, you know, in order to uh, try to uh, fuse for aqua dragon. I couldn't think of what I was saying there for a second. Uh, I think I'll move forward manually and plant here. Okay. We can protect it with invisible wire. Yeah. Yeah, protect it with invisible wire here. And then here... I'm actually just gonna activate Grave Robber. Yeah. Maybe let me take a card out of the graveyard. But I'm not gonna take a card out of your graveyard. I'm gonna take my own invisible wire. <laughs> Alright, that should work. And turn it over. If I can get something that's about 1400, I can actually end the duel by attacking her turtle. But uh, yeah, she's not even gonna. She could run over her turtle, but she's not even gonna. She's not even gonna try, man. Man eating plant attack. Yeah. I think we got this. Uh, in the meantime. Ooh, Dragon. Let's, in the meantime, let's move Invisible Wire back, actually. I'll move my leader right next to her. In case I draw something I want to attack with. I'll set this just to block the square. And yeah, I end my turn. This is going ex exceptionally well. Exceptionally. 
Boy, and that barrel, uh, I mean barrel, that, uh, stone dragon is making the long way around the outside. Very long way. I guess I could, theoretically. Hmm. Let's, no, let's put it right here, yeah. Uh, man, her card's still trapped for a turn. So let's move this for one turn. Put armored zombie here with two power ups. That is acceptable to me. I was waiting on, you know, maybe something better, but that is acceptable. I'll attack her again and again and again and again, and eventually we will win the stool, guys. Just hang in there with me. All right, I end my turn. Da -da 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 Turtle's free, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Invisible Lion. I'm ready for you, Shizu. I've had plenty of time to prepare. Dark energy does not work with any of my plants. Got Kyorgashi as well, if I just wanna. In fact, I might. Yeah, you know what? I might play Kyorgashi here because the attack damage I do directly will be more. Yeah, could help us speed it up, honestly. So, Kawagashi, attack right here. Man, this thing has a big ol' pile of uh, something on its back there. Anyway, I will end my turn. Yep, this is going pretty well, I've gotta say. She's probably gonna attack, right, but my trap in this wire. Goodbye, Channel. Oh, and she just ended. Well, we just won, guys. All we have to do, move Barrel Lily forward. And I'll attack with Kawagashi just for fun. I guess... Whoops, sorry, man eating plant. I guess I could have left you on the field. You see, I thought after our trap she would have summoned something here. But I guess not. Well, we'll flip up Armored Zombie for the experience. And, uh... We'll play Pumpkin for the experience. Because why not? Duh. Da, 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 da. We win. It's over. Oh, now you switched to defense mode. Dude, she moved that card all the way on the very outside just to switch it to defense mode. I guess you should have seen this coming, Ishizu. Haha. -ha. Alright. Ooh, and Shadow of Eyes is a good card. I guess we'll try to win it. Let's see. What? Shimini Elf? When does she have that? Well, I'll take that. That's a good card. Alright, we got Shadow Vice. Now, I guess I'll go for something that's not one of those two. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, we got a lost or Zari Gun, which sucks, but those other two cards? Really good, yeah. Gemini Elf and Shadow of Eyes. Awesome. What do you got to say for yourself? I'm not surprised, you know. I knew I was destined for defeat. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Uh, I can live with that. <laughs> well, okay. Fine with me. I mean, but if you were destined for defeat, wouldn't you, like, try to avoid defeat by, like, I don't know. You could have moved to another continent or something. Master, today's the day you promised to meet Henry. A.K.A. you What's going on? Oh my god! There's Yugimoto. And is that Joey? Yeah, Brooklyn Rose. August 1485. Yugi, Henry Jr. lands at Milford Haven. Hurry! Yeah, and by the way, listen to this music real quick. Uh, I almost skipped the music. But yeah, listen to this music. This is some epic music. Hang on, let me just let me just let you guys soak it in real quick here. Yeah, listen to this music. Pretty epic, yeah. Hurry! No, I want to listen to the epic music. Duh! Dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. Anyway, hurry. And once you get, uh, is it six rose cards? No, seven rose cards. All we, these locations will kind of converge to Bosworth, yeah. And if you played Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, uh, this guy might look a little familiar. He looks a little like Tai Shin. But anyway, let's uh, show those cards off that we just won, because honestly, they're pretty good, yeah. There's Gemini Elf, 28 deck cost. Uh, as it is, 1900 uh, tech, 900 defense. I love that alternate artwork, by the way. Check that out. That's awesome looking. Uh, and yeah, Shadow Vice. So, uh, now I already have Gorgon's Eye in this deck, right? Or if I don't, I'll, I will put Shadow Vice in. Oh, I don't. Well, okay, very well. Uh, maybe I can take out one ritual card. Yeah. Put in Shadow Vice. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, so next, yeah, as I said, we're just gonna go for the finale. Uh, so let's take on Richard Schleichin of York. Ready? And he's based on, uh, like I said, uh, yeah, this game is based on the history lesson, more or less, the, uh, the, uh, War or of the Roses, you know, with the kings, uh, with the Tudor reign. Uh, but more or less, this guy replaces Richard the Third, just so you know, so... I see you've got rose cards. You must be one of Lord Crawford's Rose Crusaders. Your timing couldn't be any better. When I heard you had landed, I rushed my troops to the front. However, I've arrived much too early. <laughs> It'll be some time before Lord Crawford and his men arrive. In the meantime, why don't we play a duel or two? Uh, I learned a trick or two from Seto that I'd like to try out. Oh no. This guy holding some blue eyes? I hope not. It's not every day that you have a great opportunity to play, to play the great King Richard III of England. Yeah, there you go. How about it? All right. Yeah. And that kind of refers to what I was saying earlier. Yeah, so more or less, this game is like, it's a history lesson in secret. It's so fun, you might not notice. But basically, a lot of the characters in this game kind of replace real world, uh, you know, kings, uh, future kings, you know, um, uh, heirs to the throne and more. So, I like it. Dark Hole is, uh, that is pretty, that's a spicy meatball. I'll be my turn. All right, where's my Dr. Thunder? I need a drink. That is good. Well, I think I'll move forward. I'm not too afraid of this guy. And we got Sword Stalker, which is boosted on the uh, metal here. And I will flip up Aqua Dragon. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Let's see if we can get this guy to attack Aqua Dragon and hurt himself. Power increase now. Do watch out if he starts power increasing his stuff, because, uh, yeah, the field is meadow, and this guy will go with, like, a warrior and beast warrior deck, so, uh, yeah, watch out for that. Uh, also, Sword of Dragon Soul. Oh, interesting. This is actually an interesting little power-up. Warrior monsters automatically destroy dragon monsters in battle. The oppo opposing enemy's attack effects are rendered ineffective, so, yeah, kind of an interesting card. Uh, Good warrior support card. We'll throw ancient tree in defense mode that way. Ain't gotta worry about no traps. And I will move forward. Your turn, Richard. Alright, what's he gonna do? Uh, oops. That's kind of what I was hoping would happen. And despite my aqua dragon having dragon in its name, ha! Your soul of dragon soul is completely powerless. <laughs> yeah, Empress Judge. Now, we actually used her a little earlier in our Command Knight playthrough here. Yeah, she's got the boomerang side the tag. That's good and all, but it's no match for this. Hydro Bucks Stream of Destruction. Let's watch. Judge goes down. You know, she helped us so much in this in this let's play, so yeah. 
But it's unfortunate. We have to try to win. Alrighty. Well, looks like we're good. Let's try to attack him directly. Good. All went well. Alright. Now, he's got 600 left. Um... Uh, you know what? I'm kind of curious what this card is. Go drumsticks! Attack it face down! Wait, what? Oh, Curse Wrecker. <laughs> now, Curse Wrecker is actually a pretty good card. Let me show that. Uh, I like it because it's one deck cost, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Cancel all power, increase and decrease effects. Does not cancel any bonus effects involving terrain and leader, so there's that. I'll move to the left, to the left, and I'll end my <laughs> Oh, man. A drink. Where is that soda? Oh, there we go. Oh, foolish judgment. Yeah, this card has also helped us in this let's play, but uh, your judgment may be good, but he's no match for my Aqua Dragon. Yeah, and that's why usually if I see Aqua Dragon in my first hand, and so should you, yeah, just play a spell card or a trap card and summon an Aqua Dragon straight away because a lot of times that can just ain't win you the duel. In stereo, Hydro Bus Beam of Destruction. Ooh, Judgment sound like it's a pain there. <laughs> Second by those life points, Richard the Third. Alright. Nice. And did that just win us the game? I think it might have. 50 life points this guy has. 50. Wow. You know what? I'm gonna move Aqua Dragon here, believe it or not. And I'm gonna give Man Eating Plant the, the winning blow. Go, Man Eating Plant. Wait, wait, wait. Let's hold up Neo Tori. Get the experience. There we go. Man Eating Plant. Attack him directly. And that was almost insulting, bro. Yeah, but you only had 50 life points, so. I had to go with a hilarious finish. You win. Yatta. Alright. And let's see. Probably not gonna be much in the slots here. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, I guess, uh, Curse Breaker is good, so let's go for that. Uh, missed him by one. That's one. That's one. Oh, I missed him by one. I did push it too early here. That's my bad. Got it, sweet. All right. Well, that is Ishizu, Ishizu san and uh, Richard the Third, aka Haishin, done. What time are we at? About 23 minutes? Okay. Trapped! I lost! <laughs> Look at this guy's face. Like, oh my god. Uh, oh well, what do you expect from a beginner, eh? Don't let it bother you. Uh, what do you mean? The important thing is how I perform on the battlefield. And with the support of Lord Crawford and the Rose Crusaders, victory will be ours for their taking. You Rose Duelist. Uh, the music went quiet. I'm a little worried. What's gonna happen here, guys? Well, in order to find out what's gonna happen, tune in next time for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Alrighty, see you guys then. Yeah. <laughs>